Hello everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Manu Raj Sharma, Assistant Professor at L. Mitla University, Darbhanga. So uh, about two years ago, I made this video on how to download the free climate data datasets uh, that is available on the website of India Meteorological Department. So uh, about two years ago, these datasets were available uh, in very simple formats such as a, a NetCDF or .nc files uh, and even uh, in earlier in format of that is um, ASCII files, but now these data sets are available uh, that is in binary form, you can say, okay. And um, uh, what I have felt is that most of my students as well as other researchers are facing difficulty as how we can download these data sets and use in a format that is very easy to understand for everyone, such as maybe in a CSF, CSV files or Excel files. So uh, this file, uh, this video is actually good. Um, uh, about two years ago, we made this video and we did this uh, downloading uh, using the QGIS at an open source software. So about two years now, uh, so this is 2024 and we will try to download these files uh, on, a, on a different platform. Okay, and we'll see it. Okay, so before we actually begin, uh, let's let me tell you a brief about uh, what data sets are actually available. Yeah, so, India Meteorological Department uh, is providing data sets, uh, long term data sets uh, for rainfall as well as for temperature, and they're available in the form of the grids. Okay, as you can see, and these graded data sets have been uh, normalized uh, using the Shepherd's interpolation. So, for the rainfall data sets, uh, you can get data for point, 0 0.25 to 25, and for maximum temperatures, 1 by 1 degree grid is data sets are available. So, how can the, the so the main problem is actually how we can download these data sets. Uh, for this Present problem, uh, what I will do is if we can directly look at the data, set, let's say minimum temperature. So it's available. One one easy way is that you download all these data uh, years individually, such as uh, like uh, if I want to download data for 2023. Uh, and uh, this data set, you, see, you will see that uh, it will be downloaded in binary form. Uh, and uh, then you have to extract this data. This data sets are available in .grd format. If you have some knowledge uh, of uh, uh, visualization softwares uh, such as GRIPS or other maybe other softwares uh, where you can directly use the binary files, that will be easy. Uh, but uh, many of us uh, or many of very new researchers uh, find face difficulty in using these data sets. So what I have designed is um, today we will be using uh, a very common platform the of programming language or programming language that is called anaconda uh, you might be knowing about it okay maybe so an uh, anaconda is a operating system for the ai as well as for so many other things uh, for the most that is most popular programming language that is available with us is python so earlier we used to do it in the pycharm but now you can use this uh, anaconda platform and directly go and log in and download these data sets whichever finds uh, best for you uh, i have actually downloaded this anaconda so we will see uh, which platform to actually use so uh, uh, you will get this anaconda navigator and as soon as you open this thing you will get so many different other platforms where you can directly use uh, the data sets uh, they you can directly use uh, this Python coding language and uh, download the data. So before we actually begin, uh, let's see uh, today what I will do is uh, I will try to download these data sets uh, for Bihar because presently I'm working in Bihar. So I will focus uh, more on Bihar. So if we currently look at the grids of Bihar, you can see that Bihar uh, is situated between these latitudes that is from 24 degree north. It goes up to uh 28 degree okay and as far as latitude uh, longitudes are concerned uh we find that it extends from 83 degree, 83 degree east and as you move uh you reach around 88 degrees okay uh but still more than 88 degrees uh let's say for 88.25 will be fine for the data sets uh but since i am downloading this data sets uh, uh for minimum temperature that is one degree by one degree so I have to make an adjustment. I will be downloading either data sets from 88.5 uh, 88 reach. 
okay uh, so we will discuss we will see actually and how we can download the data sets so uh, this is as soon as you directly after you have installed the anaconda you will find this virtual look with you and uh, each of them is working very fine. You can either use a Jupyter Lab, that is the most popular among the uh, young researchers. But uh, I, being a traditional one, I prefer uh, that is Spider. Okay, uh, even this is good because uh, Spider doesn't need an internet connection. Whereas while you are using Jupyter Lab, you will be needing an internet connection. So this is the first platform that you actually get, and uh, this is how it looks actually. And uh, let's see. So what I have done is. I have actually written some codes uh, with me and uh, this is the text file okay uh, this uh, this text file I will upload in the this video so that you can directly download this file and use it okay what we will do is we use control a and copy and paste it directly in the that is our spider okay now I will discuss uh, what all these things mean actually so before we begin uh, you need to Import some libraries such as imdlib, okay, and numpy that is a numerical Python, and then we have pandas, okay. So, all, all three of these libraries are actually used for the calculation purposes. They have some inbuilt functions like imd library is a very good library provided by the India Metrological Department. So, where the inbuilt functions uh, you can directly refer to them, and uh, using these functions, you can download that particular data sets and compile them in such a format that you can use it uh, in a excel or csv format so before if you are a first time uh, person and if you are uh, directly coming to this um, python thing uh, spider or maybe jupyter lab what you need to do is uh, if you can look at the very corner uh, at this is the point on the right side this is my console area and come directly here first you need to install your library so what you will need to do is type pip that is pip uh, then install if I want to install this IMD library I need to type it as IMD lib okay I will just press an enter okay uh, now you can see that my uh, this kernel is actually engaged okay so what you need to what what it says that okay uh, requirement already satisfied IMD package has been that is installed in my anaconda that is site packages and at the end it will ask you to restart the kernel what you need to do is at the come at the very right corner and you will find here that is restart kernel so uh, are you sure you want to restart the kernel oh yes and once we have restarted the kernel okay then you will be able to execute all the files so uh, if you are the first time user of this spider or jupyter lab you need to install each of these libraries so for the second time uh, that is uh, you have not installed that is numpy what do we need to do is type just pip install and then it is num num and this by that is numerical python okay uh, since i've already installed all these files it will be very easy for me so coming directly to this what this will do is uh there, there will be something known as a start year from it will mention as you want to download the data sets from which year so this my i want to download the data sets for just only two years i can actually begin downloading data from 1951 that is available one uh, to the latest year that is available so 2023 the data, data sets are also available for the 2024 but uh, as i want to make an array uh, so that uh, i have an yearly data set so i will restrict myself uh, for uh, till the year 2023 so uh, presently i'm just doing it for the two years 2023 and 2022 and 2023 and then you have to select a variable if you want to download the variable that is uh, minimum temperatures so you will be typing here tmin if you want to that is download data sets for rain what i will do is i will type here that is rain and it will download data for rain okay but since uh, I want to download data sets for minimum temperatures. My variable name will remain as Tmin. Similarly, all these things will remain as such. And then you will need to uh, define that variable and the directory. So here you will need to, where do you want actually to download that data sets in a folder? So I have defined this that my directory of downloading that data will be T C in the C drive forward slash T minimum. It will make a folder in this way. 
and it will download all the data sets in this. I have actually used hashtag to tell you that uh, how uh, that what functions have been used so far. So IMD will be fetching the data. Take care. This variable will be used. That is T minimum. Okay. Then there will be start here and there will be end here. Start here and variable. These both are my variables. So it will directly uh, fetch the data for the year 2022 and then will be 2023. That is EY's data and it will be stored in a directory in the C drive. That is that is T minimum. Okay. So uh, file directory and then which path should be mentioned again? Then which folder actually I actually want to download my data? Okay. Uh, then there are some uh, other things uh, I need not to say, uh, explain the entire program. So what you need to that you get that you want to get your things uh, get going. Okay. So if you are downloading the data for the variable rain, uh, the grid size available is as 0 0.25 by 25. This is what I have. We have already seen earlier that rainfall data sets are available uh, in the format of grid of uh, 0 0.25 by 2.5 degrees, 0.25 degrees. So uh, if you want to, this is the same thing. If you want that grid, directly use 0.25. Okay. And if you want T max or T minimum, that is max annual maximum, sorry, daily maximum temperature or daily minimum temperatures, uh, we will be using this variable and the grid size will be 1 degrees. Okay. So on the basis of all these grids, uh, for the X and Y count, you will have 129 grids and 135 grids. And for the temperature, you will be getting as 30, 31 by 31 grids. Okay. Uh, if you look at the, uh, for how, uh, how many grids the data sets are available that is for the latitude for the longitudes our data sets will be beginning from the latitude 67.5 okay for the Bihar we need data sets in the range that is 83 since it is beginning in the form of 0.5 67.5 so the other data sets will be 68.5 and if we want to download that data for Bihar uh, if you look here so our data will actually begin either from 83.5 or 82.5. So this we will have to take care of. Okay. Um, if I'm looking at it, I can download my data from 83.5 or maybe 82.5. Okay. And it will certainly reach because this path is extending. I will certainly need data that extends up to 88.5 degrees. 88.5 degrees. Okay. And while for uh, for the longi for the latitudes. Uh, I will be comfortable if I use this data uh, for the range between 23.5 or maybe 24.5 and reaching up to uh, that is 27.5 or maybe 28.5. Uh, both of them will be actually good. Uh, so this is what we can do. Coming back to the program. Okay, this is a spider. And uh, what I will I will be doing is I will be downloading the data sets for the year 2022 and 2023. And uh, variable is T minimum, that is uh, uh, daily minimum temperatures. And our directory will be, that is a C drive, T minimum, uh, that is T min. And in further T minimum, there will be another directory that will be storing data as well as um, our in a file format. Okay. Uh, our files will be stored in GRD files. If you want to use that, visualize this data. It will... Uh, work in in such a way that it will download data as well as convert our data so we have to define the latitudes and longitudes so for bihar what i have done is my lag bounds will be 23.5 to 28.5 as i have said earlier you, uh, with the help of topo sheet and will the uh, for the longitude bounds i will be using data between 83.5 and 88.5 okay uh, so this will download my data it will create an array that is uh, of x and y values okay uh, and this is the reason i have used yearly data and have excluded although uh, data is available for the year 2024 also uh, but since it uh, because it is october and we have only 10 months it will not be able to create an array uh, containing all 12 months so uh, i have kept uh, restricted uh, my download of data to the year 2023 okay so it will create a perfect x array okay and these are some other codes and finally uh, that is, it will download data. Uh, the, our output CSV file will be named as tmin underscore filter one dot csv. Okay, and at the end it will directly uh, print a message. This printf that command has been used. Uh, uh, df. Okay, okay. Uh, there are some other things that we have created some data frames, and then data frames we have downloaded the data. Okay, and uh, we need not to go into the entire thing. What we need to do is uh, first thing, make sure that you have. Uh, Install all these libraries that is pip install as imdlib, pip install numpy, pip install pandas, and directly run it. Okay, 
Uh, and once you have done this, then you need to import all these libraries. That means that you need to call these libraries into your function. So uh, what you need to do is just copy all these data sets from here that I have, that will be uploading in the video. Okay, just once you have done copy, bring it here and just paste control V or maybe directly right click and paste. And then you need to execute this file that is run file. Once you start run file, you will see that in the console, you can find them as message that downloading minimum temperature data for the year 2022 and 2023. So we will directly go to a C drive and see if there's a folder called T min. Okay. So if I can't say, I will just do and refresh. Okay. I got a table, a folder that is T min. Okay. And for the T min, there's another that is another folder T min that I have got two data sets for the year 2022 and 2023. And here, and I have got uh, my CSV file that is data has been extracted for my study area that is 23.5. Okay, and it reaches up to, yeah, this is the place. Okay, these are the latitudes and these are longitudes. This entire data has been downloaded for the Bihar for each grid. Okay, and uh, the date is here, uh, time. Now you can, and this data has been downloaded. If I'm control down arrow, you can see my data has been downloaded for uh, 31st of December, 2023. In so many other places, you will find these values at 99.99. Okay, you need to take care of these values when you are using this data for further processing you if you want to uh, see it. This means 99.9 value means I've actually written about uh, what this value is actually mean. The data set, this data for the, uh, that is uh, uh, that grid is actually not available okay these are these represents as missing values or maybe data was not recorded for these regions so what you need to do is you need to ignore all these data sets or delete all these files from your study area that depends upon you okay so uh, this is uh, what is uh, this is the present the best method the best way uh, where we can download our data sets and uh, use it for other any purpose uh, i can use this data sets for computing uh, my daily trends or weekly trends as monthly trends or maybe anything uh, that depends upon you what you need to do is just uh, make it this in this way okay and uh, go to insert after deleting all these data sets make a pivot table okay and while you make pivot table, uh, what you need to do is you can include a time. Uh, this is the team in. So, okay. Because since most values, uh, this is showing some. Okay. I will use value settings to calculate an average temperature for the year 2023 and 2022 and 2023. Okay. So, for the year 2022, our average temperature for Bihar region as such was 37.67 degree Celsius. And for the year 2023, our value stood as 37.82. Okay. So, this is an, another important fact that you can find that <laughs> over one year, our temperature have actually uh, risen by about okay 0.15 degrees celsius so we have witnessed actually warming in this one year so this is uh, what we download data and analyze our trends so thank you for thank you for joining with us thank you for joining with me uh, i will try to bring more such videos uh, for your understanding and for downloading and uh, stay connected uh, to this my channel uh, that is manu rachim i make different kinds right, of and so many other things we can explore here and uh, just have a view and thank you thanks for joining uh, we will be coming up with more such videos okay thank you